Yo, what's going on? Just saw my boy RM sitting down here with Pharrell. A Rolling Stone interview. I like Pharrell's music. He's obviously a legend when it comes to like the production game. And he's obviously a style icon over here. <laughs> As you can see in the first frame of this video. And obviously, you know my love for our guy RM over here. Really looking forward to the solo interview. Let's do this. RM and Pharrell on Rolling Stone. I'm not sure if you, if you remember it or not, but we, we've met at um, of course, I Billboard remember. Music Awards yes, of in course. 2018. Yeah, Do you took, remember? Yeah, we took a photo. <laughs> we took a photo together. I wanted to work then. <laughs> <laughs> This is sick. What a sick collab this is. You know, I'm just getting a glimpse there. Pharrell saw the potential. He saw the, the skill and the talent in RM even back when they met. It's really more comfy to, you know, mostly for me, I, I, I write somebody's lyrics or, or the melodies yeah. for, for, for other artists. Yeah. Not ma as many as you, but it feels like, you know, it gives me another avatars and characters. Yes. Yes. So, so when when it comes to me, yeah. um, it's a complex, and it's it always comes with the pain, you know, to to confess. Mm. But it's still um, the most important part for me. I can relate to that. They're really showing each other a great deal of respect here. When each of them are answering, they're both really listening in. Yes. Yes. They just both seem quite taken by each other in a way. Pharrell's really showing his respect for RM here and RM deserves it, right? But anyone else sensing RM is just a little nervous here? I get the sense with RM when he's speaking English, although he's fluent and he actually has like the accent down to a T, like the American accent. He's almost adopted this American accent when he speaks English. But I feel like RM being the person that he is, he's like, you know, in his head, he's intellectualizing everything. He's a perfectionist to a degree. I worry that he's trying to get every word perfect as opposed to just saying um, what comes to his mind unfiltered. I worry that that's going to take away from, from his feeling at time when he's communicating. Relate to that. I think uh, the pain part for me is probably the fun part because that, like, mm -hmm. that's like some of the most vivid paint. Mm -hmm that we mm. can use as artists when we're like filling in what we want to be a, a power, powerful verse. It's like, okay, does it hurt enough? Mm. You know, or does it feel good enough? Mm. You know, um, True. so I, I understand you there when you say, you know, you, know you, you, you inject the pain in your verses to make sure that it's like, right. you know, they're strong. Uh -huh. I agree. So, Man, they're really, you know, you know, I get off on this type of stuff. They're really listening to each other. You know, you can li hear them listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, like RM, when he's listening to Pharrell in particular, he's not listening to respond. He's listening for the sake of listening. RM's really given Pharrell the space to finish his thought and really seems like he's just absorbing what he's saying here. But then there are people who, who jump out the window and they go ahead and try it. Because mm. my whole thing is just try it. We don't have to put it out. Right. But, you know, people are so good at what they do. Sometimes they're afraid to explore different parts of their voice, different parts of their personality and mm. different parts of their career. Mm. So, you know, they're a little like hesitant. But for the ones that do try it, they get to experience something new. And look, if we've decided at the end of the day it's just not right for them, it's not right for them. I'm not sure how familiar people watching this video are with Pharrell, but like I said before, he's a real legend, clearly has a ton of wisdom. I was just thinking, I bet Yoongi's jealous right now of RM getting to experience the sit down with Pharrell. But this is just so cool. I'm so happy for RM that he gets this experience. He mentioned Pharrell's his idol, so or one of his idols at least. So. This is, this is super cool for him, and it seems like RM's really kind of being a sponge here, and Pharrell clearly respects RM. You can even just tell by Pharrell's posture. I like the respect that he's showing RM, right? He's leaned in, he's listening, he wants to hear what RM has to say. He's very aware of BTS. You have to be living under a rock, a big rock, not to know who BTS is at this point. How, how do you position yourself when you... Um, when you when you particip participate in the song as, as a player. Like, wow. 
first of all, these are great questions. Thank you. Um, and no one's ever asked me that. Oh, really? Not. Like, no, I've never had a journalist ever ask that me that. That really matters me to me. Um, so. And that's no, that's like no cap. Like you, believe it or not, no one's, and, and it sounds like I, they could have, and it, cause it's such an obvious question, but no one's ever asked me that. So yeah. I'm, I'm blown away by it. <laughs> I, um... What am I gonna say right now? I'm gonna say RM's the man. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh man, I love RM. I'm, I'm blown away by that. <laughs> I, um, everything, I make decisions based off of feeling. Oh. I don't make them com based off of RM can figure anyone out, right? RM's such an anomaly to me. His high IQ, his high EQ, he just is an amazing, special individual, and just the way I'm looking at him watching Pharrell, it's like he's with Pharrell. He's, he's curious about him. He's just adapting so well to this environment and he's just taking on almost a, a different presence here. Yes, of in course. In 2018, yeah, do you remember? Took, yeah, we took a photo. <laughs> we took a photo. Together. I wanted to work then. <laughs> but I, you know, I didn't want to like, I didn't want to like, you know, be aggressive, so I was like, oh, so, no, let's just okay. take a photo. But, you, you but, were nice. but I really yeah. wanted, to, I was like, yo, let's leave. I think we took a photo backstage. Yeah, backstage. You know, it's gotta be cool to hear for RM, Pharrell kind of fanboying over him a bit and BTS and wanting to work with them. Like Pharrell's so ahead of the trends and he gets it, right? So he saw what they were all about, I'm sure back then, and he wanted to get all up in that and, and, and be a part of that. Uh, 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 that wave. But uh, man, I was like, man, I wanted to be like, listen, let's leave here right now mm. and go make some great music. Cause I just loved everything that you guys were doing. I just, I love your energy and mm. you know, I love what it is that you represent. This is cool for ARMY to hear, Pharrell gets it. And once you get a glimpse of BTS and you kind of let yourself, and I say this all the time, you just gotta let yourself enjoy it. Let yourself get into the content. And if you're going in with an open mind, it's extremely difficult not to vibe with BTS's energy. Pharrell felt that right away. It's just positive energy. It's just their message is all about being yourself, being authentic to you. They're also showing like artists, periods, not period, not just like in different, not just in one specific genre, but I think you're just like also showing people that like you don't have to be. You can be humble. Mm -hmm. You you guys, your energy is very, there's a lot of humility that you all mm -hmm. have. That I too. It's a great energy. That's a great point too that I didn't, that I left out there. That's a great point too. A lot of humility and that's a hundred percent true. They give a lot of credit, well-deserved to ARMY and to their fan base and rarely hear them ever boast unless it's like in a sarcastic way, but there's just, whenever there's an accomplishment, it's just accompanied with so much gratitude. I think also that's where that humility comes from. That's that energy I think Pharrell's talking about. Whenever there's a, an accomplishment, whenever they achieve something, it's just met by them with so much gratitude. They just give so much. I think that's where the humility comes from for me. They just give so much. From the rehearsal and even in the plane, I got really like, really nervous and you know like so responsible because i like mm -hmm. i really am aware of the stories that you know fans buy the tickets and they come from brazil you know from japan korea like from everywhere they just come there for their for just that one night so it feels me like i have to pay back you know i have to give them i have to offer them the best night ever in their lives so it's interesting that RM took his answer there. It makes you kind of appreciate what goes through his mind even more. Like he's so aware of everything that's going on. I mean, he detailed it beautifully. He said, "Fans buy the tickets and they come from Brazil, you know, from Japan, Korea, like." And that's just how his mind works. He's thinking about everything. He's thinking about every single individual and what they're going through. He just doesn't take this for granted. I think that's that's part of the humility. He doesn't let the stardom get to his head. Sure. Yeah, you may be a rapper, you may be a singer, yeah. you may be a CEO, yeah. um, father, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a husband. Of course, the, the, the name Pharrell explains everything, but like, you know, but ex except that how do you, how, how will you define yourself? Like, um, I don't know. 
I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a public servant first. Public servant. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that word. <laughs> uh, yeah. RM of BTS, one of the biggest superstars, pop stars, rappers, whatever you want to call it in the world. And he's coming here with curiosity. He still wants to learn. And he's just sort of embraces this energy of never settling. I think that's what speaks really heavily for me when it comes to RM. It's this thirst to learn. It's this thirst for knowledge. It's this drive to get better, to seek more. That's what's inspiring to me. And we see it all over this interview from the way he's carrying himself to the respect that he's showing to some of the curiosity that is displayed. We're seeing that in RM. RM's the man. That's, that's my new catchphrase, RM is the man. If I were to ever, ever have merch, that's what it would say, RM is the man. I definitely have my struggles with having a, a lack of a sense of purpose, I think. Mm -hmm. um, when? Like, uh, right around 2005, when I put out In My Mind. In My Mind. I just felt like, After man, that? Right after that? Uh, I, as soon as it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So that made me start to think about like purpose and things having real true DNA and not just aesthetic perversion, mm. but like real true like meaning. I wonder what's going on in RM's mind because there's times throughout this conversation where he's like showing his curiosity, asking some follow-up questions to help clarify what Pharrell's saying. He wants to dig a little bit deeper. He wants to learn a little bit more. Mm. Um, when? Like like, after man. that, right after that. And there's also times where Pharrell will say something and RM's given him the space to speak and he's listening, but you'll see throughout the interview sometimes RM kind of looks down. But like real true like meaning. So I wonder if that's RM just reflecting on something that he said in the past. It doesn't look like he's processing right now. I think RM might be a little bit in his head throughout this interview. So when he's doing this, I think he's trying to like think of how to say the word in English or he's thinking about what he said in the past. I think there are times where he's sort of like in and out of the present moment, very briefly, small glimpses, but I think, I think that's the case. Maybe he's thinking about what he wants to say next. I think this time it's my, maybe like, maybe my official first solo album okay. mm. that I could feel enough. Okay. I don't know it's gonna be like, um, I, I don't know it's, if, I, if I would feel like you after my mind or not but i right. think you know it, it'll happen after after when i release it yeah. so i just i'm just dependent on on the time but um yeah i wonder because like pharrell is showing him like i said a great deal of respect and like hanging on to his every word and i wonder if that's like kind of throwing rm off a little he's like flustered like he's like really like my idol here is listening to me this intently wow this is like He's kind of thrown off maybe a little on top of the fact that he's trying to articulate himself in English fluently. He's still smooth RM in my eyes, still articulate, honest RM, but he's a little flustered I sense here. Um, it was not our intention, but we, we took it. But we actually became a sort of a social figure. So, you know, a K-pop band going to have a have a speech at the UN or you know meeting the presidents it's like I'm I really I, I think I was really confused and I'm a, like a what what am I like a diplomat or what yeah, so, yeah. I was just a, like a you know it's true I said they're bigger than k-pop right I think I got really um t um I don't know like yo I gotta I gotta stop I gotta stop this for for a bit I gotta mm -hmm. shut it down and just you know fall from away fall I fall from in a way and then just see what's going on, you know, making my mind really um, calm down. Yeah. And then I think- it Sounds like he sort of lost his indiv individuality in a way because he was so in the monster of BTS. When I started my music, I was like 14 and now I'm like 28. So it's like just the half. It's like, wow. you know, it's like sh way shorter than you. Still man. young, um, he's still so, so young. So I'm in that process. So it's really tricky and confusing and I just don't know what's going to happen. Um, so any, if you could give me any advice, it's because you Asking are in the band. You are Love in the it. band <laughs> and you, you've done the best. It's, it's different from the K-pop, but you, 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 you've done a lot of projects, like of course, NERD, um, Neptunes, yeah. and you know, of course you're solo. Yeah. So. Although RM had his moment and talked about in a small way, how much responsibility he's had and what he's gone through, very briefly, 
He doesn't want people taking pity on him at all. It's almost like he kind of avoids the the compassion around it. I don't think he wanted to give any room for Pharrell to reflect on that scenario, to be like, hey, that's crazy what you went through. So he immediately asked Pharrell for some advice. So any, if you could give me any advice. That's the humility in RM. That, because then when you come back to it, you know, to the, to the to group. The team. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be, yeah, to the team, I think it's gonna be super fresh. You're gonna have a whole lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. I would just say continue to move forward continue to be curious mm. um, and don't put any kind of necessary pressure on what it is that you do by saying, you know, no absolutes like, oh, I will never do music again mm. or I will never, I, I wouldn't do any of that. I would just- mm. No say, nevers. No nevers, just mm. stay along for the ride. Mm. Just keep going. Thank you. Nah, thank it you. was a plus. Pleasure's mine. Happy for RM, man. Happy for RM. Now let's go back. That, look at that ending there. What did he say? It was a bless? I think he was going to say it was a blessing or a pleasure. I, I think he got mixed up with his words there. Interesting. Thank you. No, thank it you. was a bless. The pleasure's mine. It was a bless. And then look at him after. Bless. The pleasure's mine. No. I think he caught himself saying something weird. He's like, it was a bless? I think he... <laughs> RM, you're so cute, so endearing. Like he wants to get it right, you know? He's like really fixated on getting it right. And I still think there's a part of him that wants to look cool, especially in front of Pharrell. But I love that about him. And just seeing him out on his own, doing his own thing is, is awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. If you wanna watch my uncut reaction and analysis, you can. All you need to do is go to my Patreon page. Other than that, my name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.